The Baruch again. You are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence. Culture scarps trekking. Even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times, as we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence, I'm ecstatic to be your guide. The legends of the Batorth Bahima were pastoralists, while the Baruch culturalists. The Baruch economically, there was a the Balakralist, Meat, milk, hides, and other cattle products from the Bahima. And equally, the Bahima would get beer and some other agricultural products from the Baru. Marriage, marriage occupied an important position in the cultural life of the Baturo man would not be regarded as complete before he got married. Formerly, marriage would be arranged by the parents of the boy and the girl without their knowledge with or without their consent. A middle man was socially recognized and his role when is socially recognized and an of the boy rewarded. He was known as Kibanabuko. He had the duty of making investigations about the character of the girl, her family background and her ability to work. After such groundwork was completed, the Kibanabiko would proceed to secure the girl from her parents on behalf of the boy's family. The Kibanabuko would wake up one morning and go to the girl's family and declare his intentions to marry their daughter, and would make the following statement to the father of the girl, I can answer me. A wife, the builder of the house. The normal response from the girl's father was, I don't have any child. The Kibanabuko would insist that the child was there, and on being asked who exactly he wanted, he would name the girl. If the father consented, the Kibanabuko would thankfully kneel down as a sign of appreciation. The next step would be for the boy's family to take beer to the girl's parents for the bride wealth to be fixed. The bride wealth was normally in the form of cows. For the bride cows, the ceiling was about eight cows. They would often make payments in goats and hoes. All or part of the bride wealth when due would be received during a ceremony known as a kujika. It was a very important ceremony involving a lot of eating, drinking and merrymaking. Thereafter, the young man, family could send bark cloth and some skins for the bride's dress. Meanwhile, other formalities would be finalized for the wedding. On the wedding day, another big feast was organized. The bridal wedding days. The bother begging day. Ritual of sitting on her parents' laps. This ritual was known as a kabuka. She would then be lifted onto a litter and carried to the bridegroom home on arrival she would perform a ritual of being carried on her parent as in law's laps there she would be sprinkled with some herbal water and a mizi to welcome and bless her before the feasting started the bridegroom would go to bed with the bride to perform another ritual a komajita if the girl was found to be a verita a the girl was her. Gift of a cow or a goat would be sent to her mother to congratulate her on raising her daughter well. The bride's friends and relatives would give her gifts from home. 
they would come to see where she had been taken. The bride would spend some days in confinement, and at the end of it all, an elaborate ceremony would be held to bring the girl out and to initiate her into the art of cooking and housekeeping. In the event of a divorce, bride wealth would be refunded. However, the head of wealth would be refunded of the right head of the husband. Religion. We thank you for watching up to this point. Watch out for the next video in our series. Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence. Culture scarps trekking. Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through time, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times. I'm ecstatic to be your guide. Hey.